Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to Skyward Sword HD. We are going to actually get the third flame today. I hope. Unless this boss is going to be ridiculous. Because I have no idea what this boss is going to be. I have no knowledge on it. I, I don't know. <laughs> we got to get the third flame in order to meet up with Zelda. So. Got to do it. Okay, how am I? Um, uh, 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 wait. Still not using mo- uh, yeah. Okay. I'm really interested in what this is supposed to be. Oh, is it Lord Gearheim? Okay. Let's hope that this doesn't end up like the last time I tried fighting him. Oh, hello there, Link. I see you're still among the living. Fancy meeting you here. We seem to bump each other every time... Every other time... In a, we seem to bump into each other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence, though, is it? You and I, we're bound by a thread of fate. Yeah, we totally are, David Bowie. David Bowie. Ugh. Look at these old drawings. Till I found these, I was upset about the little stunt the goddess's guard dog pulled on the gate of time. What was that twig's name again? Impa? Well, never mind that, because these drawings suggest the existence of a second gate of time. The news has just filled my heart with rainbows. Well, how do you expect them to get back? They had to have some sort of something like that. I'm a busy boy, searching here and there, every, uh, everywhere for another gate of time. And yet, I couldn't even find a single clue, since I know I could be honest with you, I'll admit. I got a little sulky. It was frowns all around. The thought of never getting my hands on another darling young girl again was, well, more than I could bear- Oh, that's more like Sanji now. But then! Then I found this place. This prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively giggly. What do you mean? That girl, your adorable friend. She will be instrumental in bringing about a revival of my master. And though I feared she now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. But before we talk any further on that subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Link. Do you remember when I told you that the next time we'd meet, I'd make your ears bleed from the second... Sound of our, uh, your own screams? Well, I've been thinking, perhaps, corporeal punishment is a touch harsh. I may be willing to forgive and forget if you just strike a deal. Well, I'll strike you with a deal. I'll strike you with a <laughs> great deal of pain. <laughs> All I ask is that you tell me where I can find the other gate of time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh, and don't play coy with me. I know that you know, so why not let me in on the fun? I don't think... I don't really know. <laughs> I only learned about the time gates literally last time we met. <laughs> Such behavior. A mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you. I won't go easy on you this time. You didn't go... This game hasn't been easy on me. What are you talking about? <laughs> this whole game has been hardcore for me. Lovely, aren't they? You'll find the supply skin of armor tough than any armor. Doesn't that shit... Okay, so I can't go for his arms. Such beauty. Such a pure form. Such an exquisite physique. Such stunning features. Yes, I'm pretty much got it all, though. There's one teensy thing that I lack. Namely, namely mercy. Come to me, Link. You and I, we're bound to be uh, by a thread to fate. Destined to fight. So come close, Link. Meet me in battle, and the thread of our fate that binds us will be soaked in crimson with your blood. Okay. I don't think that's going to happen, but... Oh, wait. I don't remember how I fought him last time. Am I supposed to fight those? 
How, how do you get out of these? Are you not supposed to, Are you just- Am I just screwed? Why is this- <laughs> I don't- I don't know. I don't know. If he kills me, he kills me at this point. Oh, you're not- oh, okay. Am I the only one confused by this? No! No! I hate that I have no control over Link. How did I... That's not... I legit have no idea how to do this. Am I doing the right thing? I have no idea. I've literally wasted the last 16 minutes on him. Since it's been so long since I fought him before, I have literally no clue on how to fight him. Like, straight up, I don't remember how to... Wait, how did we get in? How do we even? I don't understand how we got into the second phase. How do we even get to the second phase? Am I supposed to use his weapons against him? I literally have no idea how I got into the second phase. I mess up once. If I under if I could understand how I got to the second phase, I'd be able to do this better. At least I have a fairy, so I'm fine, I guess. Ow, I still got hurt. Great. I genuinely wish that I knew how... I'm confused. I'm just confused because I have no idea how this battle works. I'm just surprised I'm even in the second part of the battle. I was just about to say, if I survived this, I'd be very surprised. Enough of this foolishness. Or was this the second stage? Which I'm pretty much screwed for for the fact that I have literally nothing to save my butt at this point. Am I done? Okay, I don't understand that battle. <laughs> How did I get to the second stage? The only part that kind of made sense was the him doing the like different sword movements. I think the last time I fought him, I had no idea how to fight him, and I still have no idea how I actually won. Okay, so I think I know how to fight him now. Like I did a little bit of research and I'm like, I know what my problem is. <laughs> I've been treating this game like every other Zelda game and not actually treating it like the game it's supposed to be. It's supposed to. Tr it's supposed to be like a sword fighting game. It's not. It's like the whole mechanic is based on the sword and all the motion and everything, and it's supposed to be able to teach you to be like a swordsman of some sorts. So it wants you to use your sword on everything. That's why it allows you to block with your sword sometimes. I don't know why I didn't realize this earlier. Also, this is like maybe a week later and realize that, oh yeah, boss battle I just edited, it's not really that great. <laughs> Even though I'm keeping it in the video, 
Because I didn't want to restart the whole thing because I thought of a really funny joke, but... <laughs> but I'm here to replay it and see if I can redeem myself because I should be able to know how to do this now. Because as I was watching the video, I was like, maybe I'm supposed to hit those things because I was kind of technically correct that I was supposed to use this against him. In a sense. I guess. But instead of me just talking about it, I can just do it now, actually, when the cutscene's over. David Bowie sure does take a long time to talk, doesn't he? <laughs> Come on, Gearheem. Shut up. <laughs> Let me take you down and actually do it in a way that I know how to do it. <laughs> oh, and I, yeah, I, I fully know what the uh, gate of time is. It's the area with the old lady. My brain didn't register that as being a gate of time for some reason. Also, my audio may be fixed now, because apparently I've been, like, completely, like, <laughs> I don't know. My, my audio's just been messed up for some reason for the last few recordings. Whenever it got too loud, it just would have an issue. And your, so your arms don't mean crap. <laughs> I don't know why I thought they me meant anything. It was probably a distraction. But even knowing that I know somewhat what I'm doing now, I'm still going to make plenty of mistakes at this point. But it also doesn't help that Link's not responsive. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what you're supposed to do. Ow, I was supposed to hit those. God, I hate that Link doesn't do anything. Ow. This is what you were totally supposed to do. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, I fully understand this now. Oh, oh, that part I don't. I forget. That's what I was supposed to do. I don't know why, I just didn't think about it. Okay, yeah. Ow. I, I can't... I, d Link doesn't work. That's it. <laughs> That's all it is. Now I understand how to actually fight him. <laughs> I just kind of wish that the controller was more responsive. Because well, I'm not going to say that the controller is broken. But I'm just saying that like this joystick feels a little too not like it won't sense it as much for some reason. But if, if my... I think my solution would to like would be to cut this down and shorten the joystick so it has more of a range, I guess. Well, actually, probably shorten up the range, but at least it would be able to be more, a little bit more sensitive towards everything. I'm just glad that I figured out how to actually battle him. <sighs> at least I'm not left in the dark anymore. I'm I'm actually happy. 
I guess we can get back to the video now. Because I just I just want to interject for like a second. Just to show you that I know how to actually battle him. And so I'm not a complete idiot. <laughs> like I normally am. I... I still have no idea how I got past the first stage. <laughs> I'm so... It's like the most confusing thing. I was expecting some other type of battle, but no, it once becomes the gear he I'm like I haven't fought him since like the first temple? I don't know. It's been so long. It's also been like four months since I fought him, so how am I supposed to remember any of this? Well technically you're supposed to be finishing this within probably like a month, I guess. But knowing me, and me being lazy, freaking I have no knowledge prior to any of this. At least now I have the next flame. <sighs> now are we getting the Master Sword finally? Is it gonna turn purple? Is it gonna have the things popping out? Or the, like, um, the guard popping out? Like how it normally does in every other game? Or how it looks? <laughs> what ability do we get this time? Blade with sacred white light that demons revile. So, can I kill everything in one hit now? That's like an enemy, not like a boss of some sort. <clears throat> I think it's just like one hit, it's everything's just dead, I guess, at this point. <gasps> My Joy Force! <laughs> I think before I stream any of this or like do a re like a redo on my own, I gotta learn how that battle works. Cause that first stage, I have no idea how that works at all. Master, now that it's been tampered by the uh, last of the sacred flames, your blade has finally been revealed its true form. Now you can hold the master sword, or now you now hold the master sword. With the sword's great power, you can awaken the gate of time within the sealed temple. I recommend you make your way to this location. Is the sealed temple on Skyloft? Or... Because that's the only place I could think of. Or it could be. No, wait. I, kn I know exactly where the sealed temple is. But we probably should stop by here to give the baby rattle back. While I'm at it, I guess, while I'm here. Do I have to do it at night? Or... Cause I don't really, I don't, I don't really know. Cause I thought if I just talked to him. Also, are we gonna do anything with this? Cause I don't, I don't, I never got another gem. But the old man is gone, so. I'm hoping I could just return the thing or the baby rattle. Sorry if I'm like completely out of it right now. I'm I'm still stuck on the thought that like I can't I cannot figure out the battle. Okay. So that means that I have to come here at night. Or not to this place, but to their house. Which I need to go find. I think if we return the baby rattle, we might be able to get another item from uh, whatever that fancy name is, <laughs> I can I still cannot remember. It's it's literally been a while. 
Next game I play, I need to literally play it within the same month, at least. From beginning to end. Doesn't have to all be in the same week, but I, I need... At least to keep the knowledge in my brain of what I've just done. <laughs> because that might be the key to me not having a problem next time with any of the dungeons. So that I was like, oh yeah, I remember that now. Instead of having to look up a guide and it's like, oh, I completely forgot about it. I'm an idiot. But now I gotta go find their house. I'm guessing. Because I can't present them with the, um... Thing. No, I'm trying to turn around. I'm actually very confused on why they allow this island to be this dangerous at night. Oh, that's item check girl. Oh no. Please don't. I don't. I. I, I can't handle this right now. Wait, are they brother and sister? Do you see that? You must. Oh, a daughter? Sure enough, you're smart as bullwhip, aren't you? Yep, the giant star of the item check is, is the source of my problem. That's my darling daughter, in case you forgot. She's been out now of sorts lately. She'll be sitting, staring off into yonder, and then she'll get redder than a tomato on the vine. Wait, just a guard down a minute. I know what's going on. My sunshine's gotten herself an unwanted admirer. Not that I can blame the feller. She's as sweet. She's as sweet as honey and twice as pretty as a spring flower. Nope, three times as pretty. It's no wonder the boys buzz around her like a swarm of more bees. But I won't stand for it. No way. No how. I'm gonna find the rascal and give him a good whooping. You gotta help me out. You see anyone buzz around my little flower? You give him what for and send him packing. I'll keep my peepers peeled too, but I can't stand watch all day long. I promise I'll make it worth your while. You chase that varmint off, and I'll let you chase with the apple in my eye. Hush, you don't have to say a word. I can see how you feel by the spark in my, your eye. There's not a feller alive who wouldn't jump at that chance. Ease this old man's heart and get rid of that low life who's pestering my baby girl. Count on you, Link. I thought this dude was in his, like, 20s. Or 30s. But... Full... I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh -huh. Come to see. I'm afraid that if I leave, he's gonna kick my or try to kick my ass. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it's like we're not here there. <laughs> like ah, uh, God. No. Okay. At least it tells me who there's house, whose house they are. And specifically what their job is, I guess. Um. Oh. Little snot nose kid. That's your house? Wow. Okay. Where is the house I'm looking for? Because this is not their house. This is Kukul's house. Yeah, it's the Wall it's the Waluigi. Wah. <laughs> I don't know how this episode's gonna end up. I don't. I don't. I don't. I literally have no idea how this video is gonna turn out because this is already like so. I'm so confuffled. <laughs> no. We've been over this, mom. I miss something here. Calm down, Pippet. Don't get so mad. How could I not be mad? It's been obvious lately that you've been giving someone rupees to clean the house. I gave you that money so you could buy some bread. If you keep spending money like this, I won't have any money to go to the night academy. I didn't take that job patrolling just so you could live a life of luxury. You gotta stop doing this. So, this is the second part of a quest I never even... That I started, but like completely forgot about. Hey, uh, oh hey there Link. What could you want at this hour? You didn't hear any of that, did you? Uh, sorry. Oh, you heard? It's, I'm tr it's true. I'm working the night patrol to earn some money. Don't look at me like that. 
You're not exactly Mr. Perfect either, are you, Mr. Eavesdropper? Maybe we should forget about everything that happened here tonight. So... Am I done with that quest? I, compl I completely forgot that I cleaned her house for her. Like, I didn't need money. I was just like, I was going to clean it no matter what. And she just paid me anyway. Is this the right house? No. There's another side quest. Oh, hello. I've never heard your voice that low. You want to do some shopping? Just come back in the shop tomorrow. So, when you say, um, that means you don't have a good reason to be here, huh? What? You think I'm a gruff? You think I'm gruff? You think I'm totally different during the day? Well, I get tired of having to be a smiley shopkeeper all day, alright? Just keep that t that this is the real me. Anyway, enough about me. You're here to make some money at my night market. Uh, night market? First time here, isn't it? Oh, well. Night is when I do my buying, so I buy treasure, but that's not to say I'll buy any old thing. I only deal with specific types of treasures. Right? Let's get on with it, shall we? Well, today I'm buying these treasures. Bird feather, ancient flower, monster claw. Ooh. Um. Actually. I'm going to do bird feather. I had enough the business day. You don't even have a single one of those. What do you want? I guess that's just if I want more rupees. Okay. Am I going to be able to find the actual house I need to find? Or am I just going to like wander around not getting where I need to go? Okay. Correct house. Cool. Thank you. Now I can finally finish this. Nah. <laughs> Sigh. Uh, doesn't look like I'll get much sleep tonight again. Uh, are you tired? Well, you can see my nights are, like, right. The baby just goes on and on like this all night. I haven't slept in a wink. I don't even know how long. Baby usually sleeps like a sack of rocks, but that was before we lost, um, you know what? Oh, that. So you know you know about it. Yes, the baby's rattle. We had that, you know, what? Then the baby would settle down, but we lost it the other day. A bird picked it up and its beak and flew off with it. Maybe the bird thought it was food. I don't know. Of course, the bird wouldn't have eaten it, so I think it must still be somewhere in the town. I just don't know where. So it would sure be nice if someone would find it for me. Um, is that it? Yeah, here. Have it. I've been trying to give this to you for a while now. This is Sleepy Baby. Time for Betty Bye. Phew, the baby seems to settle down nicely. I bet the baby will sleep well tonight. Well, it means I'll finally get a good night's sleep, too. Thank you so much. I won't forget what you did for me. Bell is it Bellatrix? Beatrix? I think that's what the name might be. I knew it started with a B. I just couldn't... I can't... I couldn't think of the syllables. So, like, so it's like a really fancy name. <laughs> that's what I defaulted to. Why? Why? Okay, now I gotta go find Bellatrix, if that's his name. Which I think is over here? Yes. Okay. It's either Bellatrix or some... Some name starting with a B and something fancy. I don't know. Oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of deepest... Beatrix. Thank you. 
it doesn't matter. I don't. Is that it? Import master. Due to your swords enchantments, it is now being possible to use your dowsing ability to detect. Okay, so at least I did something. Now it'll show me where for. Uh. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like restart my game and try to get those rupees. Like, there's no bank anywhere, so I have to like deposit them by buying something. But I can just sell the rollers that I have for more money. I just wish that it was kind of like Ocarina of Time. It's like, oh, you can't hold this, put it away. Or is was it Ocarina of Time? I think it was Ocarina of Time because uh, some dungeons I would leave it and I, it wouldn't even have I wouldn't have collected all the chests. Or is it Twilight Princess? No, I think it's Twilight Princess. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played it either. I haven't played Twilight Princess since uh, my last video on it. So like, yeah, I love the game and all, but like, I haven't really played it much. I guess we can go to bed now and get on with it. Gone with get on with the show. I don't know why, but this reminds me that they could probably do like another uh, Link's crossbow training somehow. The switch. For like an updated version but this time instead of just twilight princess can we can we have another crossbow training but like one where you can choose from different games <clears throat> like you get a crossbow training level where it's like ocarina of time or skyward sword obviously or something in that vein or just have a skyward sword link crossbow training or something like that unless it didn't do well but like that would be that would be really cool because I'm, I'm kind of missing some of the older games where it's like, oh yeah, this, here's like a spinoff of a game and it has like no real sense to the actual series, but it's, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's gimmicky. It's freaking whatever. Like, um, Link's Crossbow Training as an example. Freaking, it had like the, um, I don't know where it is right now, but the, um, thing that you'd have for the Nunchuck and the Wii Remote where you can actually do that and go through the levels in Twilight Princess. And then I think you have to fight, uh, the Style Lord to finish the game or something. I, I've never finished it. I don't know. I, I've only played a few levels and got really irritated with it, but it was still fun for the small amount of time until I got irritated. But... They should probably have something like that for this game. That'd be really, really cool. But it probably didn't do very well. They need, they need to start like doing like weird games, like side games, again. I just think they probably don't see it as being a profit, so I don't know if they really go for it. So...